Like I love all things body care. I love all things skincare. Like I'm just a skincare girl. Hey guys, it's your girl Taya back here with another vlog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have been enjoying my vlogs so far. I've really enjoyed making them for you. In this week's vlog, we're gonna be doing some maintenance, which is like one of my favorite things to do, you guys. So I'm so excited to be showing you guys all the things that I purchased. The first thing that's up is I'm gonna be heading to the gym because for me, that is part of maintenance. So I wanna start off by getting my body right, my mind right, all that good stuff. So I'm going to the gym. After that, I'm gonna to try to get a pedicure today. It's raining, so I'll see if I can go today. But I feel like since it's raining, it's a good day to be indoors. I wanna also do my nails. I'm gonna show you guys how I apply my uh, gel X nails and then I also want to do some waxing and stuff I'm not gonna be doing the hair cuz it's already in braids uh, but everything else needs to be done yeah so if you like all things maintenance you like girly stuff then stay tuned because if you like all that hopefully you will love <laughs> and enjoy this so low. So low. Since I'm about to hop in the shower and scrub, I want to show you guys the before. I suffer from like dry skin whenever I end up in the hospital and I was recently there. Since this is a maintenance vlog, I kind of want to show you guys how I go from super, super dry skin to really, really smooth and soft and moisturized skin. Before I scrub though, I'm going to be using this Notorium body wash and this is their salicylic body wash. So before you do any type of scrub, make sure you clean your skin. Um, I don't know for some reason I feel like a lot of people don't know that I feel like sometimes I do it backwards too But you want to make sure you clean your skin first before you go on with the scrub I'm gonna be using two different scrubs today raw shea butter by Nubian This one is really uh, rough and abrasive and then I'm gonna be using this beauty pie one It has enzymes in it and you know enzymes they help like kind of get like a deep, deeper layer of the skin Anyway, if you guys want to know more about enzymes, I'm pretty sure you can google them <laughs> But that's what I understand enzymes to be. So they just get like a deeper layer of penetration when it comes to the skin. Um, and they don't necessarily need to be rough in terms of like the beads, but the enzymes help with like the exfoliation process. So let me go ahead and get started and I'll be back. Yeah. 
shiny guy. Hey hun, so I'm back. This is the part of the video where I'm gonna be uh, starting my waxing. I do plan on doing like a whole entire Amazon haul or for all the stuff I've ordered since like the month of January because I did order quite a bit of things for this vlog in particular. Since I am doing the at home waxing, I had to order, you know, like a little warmer kit. So this is how it looks. And I'll show you guys how, like, how I got everything set up. I'm in my bathroom, by the way. I've already dumped the beads inside of the warmer because the instructions say to go ahead and let the beads start to melt and you need to kind of like preheat it, if you will. So you get four of the little wax beads. I've already used one. And these are the remaining three. And then you get these six, so you get like 10 of these each. I did get these wax strips and of course some cornstarch. I honestly don't know if you're supposed to put this on your legs or just your underarms. I think underarms maybe because you sweat and you want to kind of absorb some of the moisture. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some of this in a little plastic baggie. This is the brand that I have. This is the wax and it's on right now. So it's nice and melted. Instructions say to turn it down to 180. I'm gonna wait for 10 minutes. Let me go ahead and set my timer on my phone because I don't wanna be talking to you guys and forget. This is my first time doing it, so I'm a little hype, I'm a little nervous, you know. I, I, I don't do things like this, I, I do. Actually, I like doing things like this at home, but okay, girl, timer, timer. You see, you get distracted. Be doing your thing, my friend. Uh-huh, 10 minutes. Oh, and of course gloves because we want to keep everything sanitary and yeah, they use gloves in the salon. I'm going to use gloves at home because this is supposed to be kind of salon-like, you know. But if you don't want to use gloves, it don't really matter. It's your skin, but I just want to use gloves because that wax is kind of sticky. Anyway, guys, I'm just rambling at this point. Let me go and we'll be back.
wanted to come in and just kind of check in with you guys quickly. I'm really just trying to show you um, all what I'm doing more than talking. Initially, I went in thinking that I was going to shave my legs with the wax. That was a fail. So I couldn't do that anymore because I just... For whatever reason, I think I was just tired and I was just hungry. And then by the time I came back to it, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try this again another time. Um, so this is what I use for my legs instead of the waxing. You guys know that I told you I wanted to try the waxing um, because I feel like it's better for you. I don't know like what chemicals are in this. And so even though this is what I've been using for years and years and nothing has happened, I've never burned my skin or anything, but I just feel like you know, there could be a better way. And sometimes you just want to switch it up, you know? I wish you guys could sm smell me through the camera because I smell delicious. That body care routine is coming as well. Stay tuned. That's going to be a separate video from this. This is just straight maintenance. But I do plan on filming a body care routine so you guys can see all the products I use to get me smelling nice and luxurious and luscious and all that good stuff. So, <laughs> anyway... Um, this beauty pie though, I did want to tell you guys a little bit about this because I know I had mentioned it quickly, but this stuff on the directions, it tells you that you can go in with it, like scrub your legs or scrub your body and you don't need any lotion. Now, you know, for most of us with African skin, it's usually not the case. We don't do that. We still go in with lotion, but I will say they're not lying. So I do have super dry skin. And I was able to go for like a day without having to moisturize my legs afterwards. And that was really nice. I felt like, okay, so if my skin wasn't as dry, if you don't have like super, super duper dry skin like me, then you could definitely get away with going in with your body wash, doing your little nightly scrub, and that's it. If you don't feel like spending hours upon hours of doing your routine, because sometimes ain't nobody got time for that, but you still want to smell nice, you still want to feel luxurious. So I feel like if you are looking for a scrub that is kind of like a two-in-one where you can get a nice scrub and then you can also get like a moisturizer, this right here, this beauty pie, and you guys, this video is not sponsored, but if y'all look at <laughs> beauty pie, holla at your girl. I feel like the arm is because it's a smaller area. I was able to kind of bang that out and I got it. But the legs, ugh, I don't know what's going on, but we gonna get it, y'all. We, we, we gonna get it. Oh yeah, I did wanna show you guys my legs now that I'm done, everything is smooth and yeah. They just look so good, like. <laughs> I went from super duper dry to this. Like. I'm winning you guys this is so 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 smooth let me show you guys the other leg I just feel so good like ah so good I hope you guys have been enjoying this so far I really am enjoying this like <laughs> I don't know I love body care like I love all things body care I love all things skincare like I'm just a skincare girl so anything body care anything skincare I'm here for it I am here for it it's like it is it's a part of my being like my skin the skin is just skinning right now like can you guys see like I'm gonna be doing these that they coming up the rough side of the mountain you guys can you say it can you say it uh -huh. so yeah I'm gonna be doing that oh I don't think I showed you guys my feet I'll show you guys my feet and my nails like I guess at the same time once I do my nails I'll go ahead and throw on a pair of my fuzzy slippers and I'll show you guys my toesies they're white <laughs> they're white because it doesn't get more lush than that white toes like I will talk to you guys later I'm feeling good I need to hop in bed and yeah happy Thursday <laughs> Don't mind me, I got my little bonnet on or whatever. I hate coming on camera like this, but I'm not gonna be on camera long. Y'all are gonna see the star of the show, which is my nails. And as you can see, it's pouring outside. Um, I guess the perfect day to be indoors doing my nails. So I'm just gonna sit my camera here. This is the angle. Let me go ahead and get everything out and then I will get started on my nails.
Uh, you guys, I just love the sound of the rain. It's so relaxing in the background. Um, so starting off just prepping my nails, I like to go in and push my cuticles back. And continuing with cuticle work, I'm just going to go ahead and nip some of the dead cuticles around my nail bed. Once I think my cuticles look good, I'm going to go on with this ball bit. And this just actually helps to give you what they call like a dry manicure. It really makes that cuticle area look just nice and clean, nice and smooth. And it's not a sharp ball bit, so it helps to kind of clean up the uh, dead skin around that cuticle area. Now going in with the sanding band, this really helps to take the shine off of the nails. You want them nice and um, clean, so I like to also go in and keep them as short as possible. So here I'm just filing my nails. Now starting off with the prep for the Gelex nails, I'm gonna be taking this uh, my same e-file and just going around the bottom of the nail. And this is gonna help the nail lay nice and flush. Next, I'm using this primer to etch the inside of the nail. I really like this step because you can do this instead of drilling the inside and it works just the same. So here I'm adding two layers of the protein bond before I go in with the Apre primer. Once I'm done with both, I'm just gonna add a little layer of the Beatles nail glue, and then I'm gonna cure that for 30 seconds. I'm gonna take that same nail glue and place it on the inside of the nail and leave like a little dollop towards the bottom. And then I'm just gonna lay it on and I wanna flash cure it under the Beatles light for 10 seconds. Here I'm showing you a little bit of spillage. If you're following along at home and the same thing happened to you, don't worry. We're going to go ahead and clean that up. And you just need a nail drill. The one I'm using is the Pana. Uh, I believe this is the 5-in-1 bit. Here I'm just mixing two nail polishes to make the base color for my design. As you guys can see, it's already getting dark. <laughs> So I didn't do it on camera, but I did just want to leave in a little bit of um, polish for you guys. Um, make sure you clean up after yourself with like acetone and then you're going to go ahead and cure. Once all my nails are polished, I'm going in with the final and best step in my opinion, the cuticle oil. I think this just takes a look to a whole nother level and these are my nails you guys. So I am officially done with all my self-care. I wanted to show you guys a close-up of my nails. I think they are so, so, so cute. I think I did a great job. So I'm officially done. After I did my nails and everything, I just decided to go ahead and take me a nice hot shower. And that is pretty much how I ended off uh, self-care. I did do my brows. I'm gonna go to the bathroom so you guys can get a better look. And I wanted to show you guys my toesies as well. So those how my toes came out. I thought they came out so cute. And then my brows, I told you guys I was gonna show you guys my brows. I didn't get a chance to film it for you guys, but as you can see, I feel like they turned out good. I like a nice full brow, so I'm happy with these. Yes, I have like a little tiny burn right here you guys can probably see that mm -hmm. your girl burned herself so that was why i needed to concentrate and i still ended up burning myself i don't want that stuff anyway hands closing out the video here i think i'm gonna throw in like a little workout montage for you guys just to close the entire video out remember hun skincare is Skincare and self-care is personal. Do whatever feels good for you, whatever you enjoy, whatever you like. I enjoy things like this. It makes me feel super girly. The hair is laid. My toes are done. Girl, I'm waxed. I just feel so feminine, so girly. I hope I've inspired some of you guys, um, especially my hands that go through pain. Uh, just take it from me. I know how you feel, but this too shall pass and you are healed in Jesus name. With that, you guys know what to do. Stay blessed and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.